What's up, honeys? It's King Brittany Chanel, and I'm back with another video. So we're gonna be talking about what happened at Candy's restaurant. Y'all know the old lady G A N G restaurant out in ATL, honey. The restaurant was, you know, lit up, sprayed up. We're gonna talk about it. But before we do, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's get into the commentary. y'all right, so we're gonna get into the honey for today's tea but before we do my honeys don't forget to subscribe to my say Brittany chanel channel for home decor lifestyle and beauty vlogs now let's talk about candy and this whole situation that happened on v-day at her restaurant so for those of you who were not following it or y'all just you know just now hearing about it basically i am on what is this the grapevine.theroot.com and it says three people i'm gonna say were injured during valentine's day i'm gonna say it was an all out people pulled out them ooh la la's honey it got wet up sprayed up lit up honey at candy's old lady g-a-n-g restaurant near atl this was written by brooklyn baldwin and it was posted on saturday at 3 p.m so basically on valentine's day night honey you supposed to be on valentine's day typically i don't celebrate y'all know holidays but typically on valentine's day people was chilled with they boo bunned up you know trying to get a little dinner candlelight going you know on a jodeci like tip you know y'all know i i serve the most high god yahweh so i don't celebrate some of these holidays honey but people that do you know they they want to you know be chilled with they boo and go to a restaurant eat and probably you know go to the movies or, or whatever people do but no nah, people especially in atlanta <laughs> They wasn't trying to have that. They wanted it to be, I guess, lit up like a tree, honey. Now, uh, basically, they said on Valentine's Day night, three people were, I would say, had injuries at Candy's Restaurant in East Point, about eight miles south of downtown ATL. According to the Associated Press, a man entered the eatery and basically, um, when he entered the eatery, he had had his eyes on this other guy that was in there. With It says, with two bystanders being caught in the whole, they got caught up in the whole situation from this man entering the restaurant, okay? And it says, the East Point La Policia Cap, Allen, told the outlet that all three, um people or the, the vicks basically uh what happened to them it, it wasn't um anything that would have made them go on to the glory i us say you know all glory to yahweh the most high that these people you know walked away from this and they'll be able to tell an interesting story now um it says the names and ages of the people that had injuries weren't immediately released. And basically, according to, you know, the cap, the, I'm going to say the person, the man responsible for this um, was not, basically, they didn't have him, basically, at the time. And it says, named after the real housewives of ATL, you know, the star's mother, Mama Joyce, and two aunts. And her two aunts, Bertha and Nora, old lady G-A-N-G, is owned by Barrett and her husband, Todd. Specializing in Southern cuisine and comfort food, the couple has three outposts of the eatery. I honestly, and this is just me being real, you got to know that certain areas, 
you know you want people to come on out and support but certain areas is a little ghetto okay and i i'm you know this is just no disrespect but it's it's common sense that if you look around like i mean at atl real estate and where they had certain malls that they now have closed down or certain stores because these people was coming up in there running up food or it was a hassle for people coming in or the, you know the patrons coming in to shop for these very reasons and this is why people do not put restaurants you know in different things in certain areas due to people that do you know ignorant stuff like this if you had issues with this man, sir, you could have took it outside. First of all, it shows the level of intellect. Because if you are that angry with somebody that you just have to immediately jump to that, something is wrong with you. Clearly, you could have, if whatever is situation with this man that he had going on with this man, I guarantee it wasn't that serious for him to come up in somebody's establishment and disrespect somebody's establishment. And, you know, have people caught up in this that could have been, you know, in a situation. You know, all glory to the Most High God that these people was able to walk away out of this situation. But this is ridiculous. This is exactly why, you know, stuff happens where they move certain types of people out and they the prices go up because people don't want to deal with this type of behavior. And I personally would never have put no restaurant in no daggone East Point. But I mean, Candy, she wants to, I noticed that about her and Tiny. They always want to maintain a community type of thing. And they want to maintain, I guess, staying close to, I would say, the neighborhood. Because I remember Kim was like, I don't know if it was on uh, Housewives, but do y'all remember when Kim said something about where Candy stayed before <laughs> And she was slick trying to say it was the hood. And it's just like, sometimes you have to elevate in life, though. You have to leave those old things and them hood things. It's nothing wrong with people being from the hood. But it's just, you have to know that setting up your restaurant in the midst of the hood was only going to have these type of problems. And then to have your restaurant name associated with this type of activity who, you know, people are going to want to go, but it kind of makes it a little like, I ain't going to that girl, such and such, got her, her, her restaurants in uh, the hood, girl. So it's ghetto fab, honey. Like, people start whispering that sort of stuff. And it says, um, the first restaurant opened in ATL in 2016 with the East Point location where this whole situation took place following in uh 2018 and it says located in a large sh and it says following this 2018 located in a large shopping mall near you know the airport the uh restaurant has become a popular hot spot for residents and visitors but i mean could it have been a little bit more security or something like that because how this, I mean, y'all, we are in, a, in some fallen times where this man disrespected this lady's restaurant and came up in there doing that. Like, I guarantee this is something that's so petty. When the, uh, La Policia asked him what this was about, probably some, probably $2. And these are the, I'm telling you, this is what happens when you in the hood and there's different things going on. It, 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 it breeds people that be on some off type of activity and i understand people be like i gotta give back to my community and all the rest of this stuff but you have when you get up out the hood you have to stay up out the hood that's just my personal opinion on that because if you look at what and i don't i don't blame the people that's there all the way because i know that society sets certain stuff up for you know these people to become certain things sometimes and some people you know if you ain't all the way you know there up top you'll fall for the for the game and the tricks every time you feel what i'm saying some people they smart enough to navigate out of it but some people they put you know they they fall right in 
And this this man clearly, I guarantee what he was mad with this other man about is it was not worth him now having to go to the lockup for this. Because you best believe they're gonna make an example out of this individual for number one, if this was near the airport, and number one, because you got you dealing with people that's probably a uh, tourist and coming to visit the city and the city, you know how people they just they want to make examples out of certain people. So you guarantee you better you better bet your bottom dollar they finna find out who this individual is if they don't know who it is already. So basically, it says the business savvy couple also has an outpost at the State Farm Arena, home of the Atlanta Hawks. I say, you know, I mean, if business is doing good, maybe just update the security. But then again, it's just like, that's why they move certain stuff out of that area. I remember like, um, y'all know it was the whole Brave situation and they moved that over to another side of town for that very reason. It's just the element of people on the bus, the train that is coming from different areas and this is why a lot of these people when they come into these neighborhoods and they buy up the property cheap and then they start pricing these type of people out because they don't want these type of people come just walk waltzing into their establishments and you know uh blowing it away okay they don't they don't want that they want it to look so odd that if these type of people is in the the vicinity you look out of place Okay, they don't. They want to walk up in Whole Foods and be a Whole Foods experience. You feel what I'm saying? They don't. And I, I guarantee this is an individual that was arguing with this other individual over something stupid. This is how these people show they behind. I'm telling you. I mean, I wish that our people do better, but I just know that some of them just. I mean. This lady don't work hard, her and her husband, to put this restaurant to create a legacy for her mama and the aunties. And this man did what he did. People having a nice gathering, probably with a significant other or whatever. People who celebrate that, you know, people do what they do. You feel me? Yes. For me and my house, I'm a serve the most high God. But people do what they do. And this man came and messed it up you feel what i'm saying and you know these people all glory to god like i said they're able to walk away from this situation but who's to say that these little you know small scuffles that they had can't you know cause stuff later on in their life you feel what i'm saying sometimes you don't know uh what issues you might have until later on in your life from stuff you feel what i'm saying it may not you know well, I'm going to pray to the Most High God that they don't. But, you know, sometimes stuff happen like that. And it's it's just sad, y'all. I just don't understand why folks can't get it together. And then folks be having a nerve to ask. Folks be having a nerve to ask why, you know, they be pushing them out of these type of neighborhoods. And it's not all people that's... Let me make this disclaimer. All people that's in the hood is not, you know, like this. But you do have some, you know, ignorance that, like I said, society has set certain stuff up to have these type of individuals that's clearly off in their mind due to circumstances like poverty and different stuff like that, right? So clearly something had to be off in your mind that you just walked into a restaurant and did this. So it says that Candy sends prayers to the... um the Vicks after you know the three people had you know the injuries at her Georgia restaurant and it says that Candy is speaking out after the situation that happened on Saturday and it says according to CBS affiliate this is on entertainment tonight by the way let me see who's the author Jennifer Drysdale and that was posted on the 16th and it says that East Point La Policia say that the man that is responsible entered the restaurant located in Camp Creek Marketplace and basically he he lit up a mail, okay? So it says two innocent people, you know, they um they got it, you know, 
they had they got they got injuries from the situation and basically this is a a, a a statement and it says my family and i are truly saddened by the unfortunate events that occurred at olg camp creek on the evening of february 14th an evening that was meant to celebrate love unfortunately turned into something quite different this is what candy said in a statement to entertainment tonight y'all which was also posted on her instagram and she says that this is a quote our prayers and thoughts go out to individuals that were um you know vicks in the situation um or anybody that was negatively impacted we are aware that this matter is being actively investigated by la policia and we are cooperating with them to bring justice you know to those involved you know involved okay so <clears throat> it says candy's statement went on to note that as a um aa business owner she and her husband her, you know as business owners they have tried to invest in their community. I told y'all, because Candy and Tiny, they seem like, you know, very uh, nice people that want to give back to their community. The only problem is when you try to help your community, folks, this is, how they, this is how they repay you every time. I have yet to see an instance where somebody has done something for their community, and then these are the first people when you don't put anything in their community talking about you turned your back on, uh, on the hood. But if you put your stuff over there, honey, look at how I'm telling you. That got to be a certain spirit on that community. I'm telling y'all. It's generational. Because they don't build up. They tear down. I'm, I'm just telling y'all what I see. But then complain when they get priced up out of there. Why would they want y'all over there? And the whole time you're there, you never, you, you, you bought Jordan's. Uh, Ferragamo and Hermes belts and, 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 and Mercedes cars you couldn't afford just to pull it up to the y'all y'all don't hear me now honey y'all I mean I'm people going you know you gonna have people oh you trying to keep you trying to keep a brother down or you trying to judge but it's the truth like we got to start telling the truth everything ain't gonna always feel good but this is what she's saying she's a melanated original woman business owner trying to help out her community and they chose to disrespect her restaurant like this they didn't care about her trying to leave a legacy her trying to employ people in the community now what if she have to you know let's say she decide i i don't want to have my uh restaurant here let me close it down those is jobs people that's the cook or the people that's working in the kitchen or whatever those is jobs for the people in that neighborhood but that man was so ignorant and trifling he didn't care nothing about that he just cared about his little petty beef he didn't even care about you know beings that were present you feel what i'm saying he didn't even care enough about himself because people are so selfish, yo. And so, you know, I'm telling you, people are of their father. I'm telling you. And I ain't talking about you. When I say of their father, everybody is not a child of Yahweh. I tell y'all. I tell y'all this all the time. All skin folk ain't kin folk. Now, she says, we hope that you know and understand that the acts that occurred yesterday evening do not in any way serve as a reflection of OLG or its values. And she also went on to say that we appreciate all the love and prayers that have come our way and we encourage anyone with any information regarding any aspects of the events that occurred to reach out to La Policia as soon as possible. Now, please, please understand or have an overstanding that I am paraphrasing some things. Do not be that person in the comments talking foolishness, okay? So, this is just, like I say, y'all, this is sad. Hopefully, they catch the person that is responsible for this because, you know, nobody wants a person like that. They cannot control their emotions or effectively communicate 
you know, or can't even, you know, have self-control or self-regulation to be, you know, running through the streets doing stuff like this, okay? What are y'all's thoughts on the whole situation that took place at Candy's, you know, OLG restaurant? Leave your thoughts and your comments about this down below. And definitely, y'all make sure y'all check out the latest episode of my podcast. I will put the link in the comment section here and in the chat. And also, make sure you subscribe to my Save Renisha Now channel. And I will see y'all soon on the next video. Hey, honeys. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring, King Brittany Chanel Couture, where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently, so definitely make sure you check it out. We have mugs, we have wall tapestries, canvas art, pillows, fleece blankets, apparel, and so much more. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all on my next video.